Oh, there it goes. Hey, everybody, it's Zach James Only. I am back doing more Code Tour 2, uh, right where we left off. Um, we just got, uh, uh, held up by an assassin droid. Uh... Clarification. Oh, let's pick that. Assassin droid is such a crude term, master. What an asshole. Preserved for Durasteel drones an ass assassin droid. with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. Wanton. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, <laughs> resulting in the termination of hostilities. That's semantics. Uh, you want to take it out of fight? I'm tired of listening. You prepare to be scrapped. Correction. I am not here to argue semantics. But master. you just so did. I inform you that you are wrong. As were those recently corrected miners. Oh, I, I, I veiled threat. We're wrong, and he wants to recently correct us. Okay. Uh, let's just kill him. Clarification. Assassin oh god, he's on a program a loop. Maybe we can kill him with a uh, logic. Preserved for dirt. The function I perform. Yeah, he's just repeating this uh, bullshit. All right, uh, enough of this. Uh. Resignation. Uh, I should have heard him out. It was his last words. And then we'll hit that. And then we'll, oh, oh shit! Our party needs to be equipped. Atten needs to be leveled up. Uh, uh, attributes. Uh, he had a high constitution anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Followers can't have persuade as a as a thing because it's a useful skill for them. Oh, I gotta level them up again. Okay. Beats. Uh, okay. Um. He has weapon proficiency, blaster, rifle, pistol, um, close combat, target short range, plus one attack bonus, Asian melee. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm not gonna really read anything else, so we'll just give him that one. Okay, he needs a weapon. He's got. Mining laser, Kraya. Give her the uh, vibro cutter, and uh, go back to me. Oh wait, we've got Atten. Give him shield. Okay. And uh, I, yeah, yeah, we'll give him like a safety harness or some shit that might help. Might not. It just, it just said it does demolition, so probably won't do. Probably won't do shit. Okay, uh, we're going to throw grenades, switch to Atten, uh, laser shot that, switch to uh, Kreia, she has stun droid, and uh, grenade, screw it, back to me. Oh, okay. Right, go. Hey. The hell did I level up? Yeah, you. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, health is incredibly low. Combat. Oh, I can. All right. Uh, hit him with shocks. Time All right. Even the odds. Get away, Korea. Oh, well, that's okay. 
Woo, go team, we did it. Yeah, all right. Woo. We killed him. And we get an advanced mining laser, self-sustaining unit, and HK vocabulator. Take all of it. Um, what, which way do we go? Here we go this way. I'll oh, switch to Kraya, give her a med pack. Uh, use the med pack, Kraya. Use the med pack, Kraya. Son of a bitch! Kraya, use the. Use the damn med pack! Okay, alright. We're good. We got this. Alright, yet yeah, this was the correct way. We're going to board the Harbinger. And if this loading screen is any indication, it's probably Something going to be a wrong. wonderful place. I sense no one on board. Never... You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain. Ooh. Yet there are a few signs of battle. Ooh. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the <laughs> worst Jedi I've ever met. But you have met us. Maybe you'd like to go back in your cell. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Um... Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this. But even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Look, we can we can do this. We got this. The two of you, be silent. <laughs> he started it. We need a course of action, not division in our ranks. Otherwise, this ship will be our last stand. No, fuck Adam. He started this. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. Then we'll get their codes. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. Oh my God, that you are a, a whiner. Plan for the moment. Let us go. You, you are a complainer. Okay, so what this is saying is certain dialogue will uh, ha have it. Uh, it'll it'll affect our our influence over our, our side characters and stuff we like wait that. Here. Forgive me, Cray. I was distracted because I was talking to people. Watch that tone, old woman. And this plan was a good one. All right, but this won't end well. We'll back up the Trust cry, baby. Me. All right. Uh. Okay, um... Just happened. say the word. Security. Door. You do now. Pure Pazak. Pure Pazak. Okay. Uh, what do we got? We got a plasteel cylinder. Get items. Wonderful. Uh, Atten. Just say the word. Chip, chop, chip. Open the damn security thing. Good job. I didn't get to read it. I clicked the button too quickly, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. Every Just damn word. door is locked. Let me take care of this. So far, so good. Um, I don't want to go into a big open hallway, though. Let's go back to the corridor we came from and secure that way. I thought this was just, was just a storage room or something. This door is malfunctioning. Oh, this place is spooky. I'm getting Endar Spire flashbacks. Ugh, Carthon Assy. Disgusting. Okay, can I click on that? Nope, that was just one of their icons. Now the computer. Right at the front of the... Uh, log out. I think Atten's got better computer crap than us. Okay, uh, probably didn't matter. 
We've taken on passengers nope. to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency just broadcast. Just gotta love these we're damn logs. Forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Silence. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Wow, this captain's got balls. Report. Except he doesn't. The warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berth, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. That's kind of spooky. We, we it's a, a clean ghost sweep, ship. Nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beam to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. But we'll find out. That's kind of spooky. Makes you think of some of those actual ghost ship stories I've heard. Everyone in the Quote, unquote, was actual. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! Spooky. I've come for the Jedi. <laughs> okay. Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab now. That's a huge fuck no. Okay, um, yeah, that's, uh, let's get the fuck off the ship. Pardon my Spanish. Open the door. Go through the door. A lot of dead people everywhere. Oh, nice try, nerds. But you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh gosh, the, the graphics, they're messed up. They're stealth field generators. Shouldn't be doing this. Just choke him. Not that hard. Alright, we just killed our first humans. Or presumably humans, humanoids. This door. Get the cylinder. Get the credits. You know, I just like to leave money in random household objects, like containers and whatnot, and not my pocket. And having you around is a boon. Your hacking ability is amazing. Thank you. Way better than T3. Stupid Okay. Look for little ripples in the air like the Predator. That means there's bad guys in here and we'll have to murder them to death forever. Oh, like that. Like that right there. There's a lot of them. Okay. Take your time. Just do that. Okay. You hear people in the background. I apologize. Somebody's stirring in the house right now. Alright. Open this container. Get these items. Escape pod. Use the escape pod. They are all locked. We can't use them. That's wonderful. All right. Moving on. We've secured this portion of the ship, mostly. Uh, at just say the word. Oh Jesus! Where the fuck are you guys? 
There it is. Just, just, just start by running everybody else. That, that's how you do it. That's uh, magnetically sealed. Oh, I, maybe I should read before I do stupid things. All right, that wing has been secured, I believe. So we're gonna go back the way we were going at first, and see what we can do from there. Should have gotten an earlier start on this, but Professor Geek was doing a stream, and I didn't want to miss it. His, his stuff is usually pretty... Oh, crap. Pretty funny to listen to. So, um... He's a good guy. Go sub to his channel if you're not, but if you're here, you probably are the guy. So that's fine, too. Uh, my teammates are going to let me die! I need some help. We're going to use shock because it is effective, and then we're going to hit him with a shock. And we'll see how it's going from there. Oh god. Okay. Alright, that was good. That, um. Oh crap, I forgot I could do this. Four straight. Ah, damn it. Okay. Forgot the uh, force powers I had selected for myself. Alright, we're good. But yeah, uh, if by chance you have not subscribed to Professor Geek's channel, you just found me by accident, which is like a one in a million shot, uh, go, go check him out. He's got some pretty good stuff on writing and uh, superheroes and comics, and he's he's got a wonderful channel. It's pretty cool. I, I enjoy almost everything he does. Um, he has live streams uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and he's been recently doing videos on Sundays. So yeah, go, go check him out. Wait, I can't wear armor? It's medium armor. But it says light armor. How can it be medium armor if it's light armor? Why do I have to have medium proficiency to wear light battle armor? This is this is dumb. This is this is stupid. This is really, really dumb. Oh yes, more logs. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. It's space. That's what happens. And sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. You won't. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Andron will have to wait. I'm, I'm actually surprised the Republic was able to keep itself together for so long. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within ten standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, She's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. This this commander here is kind of typical of your standard Republic commander. He um is way too by the book, and he doesn't do anything on a, under his own initiative um, of any kind of significance. He's way too reactionary, and that's a huge problem with the Republic military during the Old Republic. That's why the Mandalorians were able to run roughshod over the Republic defenses. Uh, in the Mandalorian Wars, and why the Republic was just completely ineffective during the uh, Jedi Civil War, which was the war going on in KOTOR 1. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. Uh, he's just way no by the, the book. In our data banks, but the profile of the distress signal way too, uh, a stock way too deadpan. Like my commentary. Uh, uh, I want to die. Find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Um, and this is the thing that kind of goes to uh, the newer Disney Star Wars movies is they don't have the uh, they lack the essence of what make Star Wars Star Wars. Like we wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. 
There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to do Oh, God! If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter. It's you cars. On it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our database, uh, so we transmitted uh, the code to you. Was there a match? You get was, your Captain. ass out of here, car. Why are you always vessel, these games? I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I am always being kept in the d Query. Oh, that no. Me, Captain? Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. So, this is the big problem with the uh, Disney Star Wars. Is they lack the essence of Star Wars. Like, these games take place 4,000 years before the movies. 4,000 years, and it's still recognizably Star Wars from its uh, themes and its... Uh, I don't want to sound like a pretentious asshole. It, 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 it has the essence of Star Wars. It has the themes. It's got the... Oh! It's got the Sith. Guys sneaking up on me, making me poop my pants. Uh, 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 kill! Kill this one! Drain him. Okay, uh, we need to just cancel... Cancel... Cancel, cancel everything. Cancel everything! Oh, is he immune? He's immune. Okay, uh, this guy, uh... Mind trick. Why do I have two regular combat to do? Hey, I leveled up. But yeah, there, there's... Central themes to Star Wars, good versus evil, um, you know, you got plucky characters, and I'm, I'm not really a writer, I want to be, but I'm not really a writer, so I can't really articulate these thoughts well. Uh, the Disney Star Wars lack something, they lack a lot of somethings, um, this is two weapon fighting, yeah, I think, oh, uh, only get one, we got two weapon fighting for now. I think my biggest problem with... Yeah, we are getting healing, like, ASAP. Uh, my biggest problem with the Disney Star Wars... Uh, is it doesn't feel like Star Wars. They... they Their big thing was they want to move away from the uh, Skywalker story. and They want to expand the universe. They want to... They want to make the Star Wars galaxy feel bigger, and if anything, they've made it feel smaller, it's regressed, it's ranting and rambling, like like some jackass doing a Let's Play, got Mandalorian Melee Shield, you know I'm gonna use the Mandalorian Melee Shield, that thing is fucking awesome, okay, uh, close, so now we got our badass two-handed fighter with a combat bikini and a Mandalorian Melee Shield. And we got credits. We're looking up. Everything is looking up. Alright, we're in the crew quarters. I, I, I got a lot of feelings on the whole Disney Star Wars thing. Um, I'm not very articulate when it comes to uh, putting my thoughts together. I just get really angry or really annoyed. And then just kind of ramble on. So uh, I'll, I'll leave that discussion for people who are better spoken than myself. Just know, I, I don't like the Disney Star Wars, it, like really at all. There's nothing there for me to like. Ooh, we got a, we got, we're getting real weapons, not just mining lasers and sonic charges. Look at that plasma grenade, Mandalorian melee shields. What the hell? Are you all right? I have to poop. I mean, uh. I just need a second. This was my room. This okay. This was your room? When? When I was a passenger. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. I might have things in there. Foot locker. Got a amplifying chamber, armband, my data pad, and a 
med pack. You are requested to report to the Harbinger Medical Bay for routine examination. This routine is automated. Okay. Got it. Uh, just kind of hoping there'd be more in here. Nothing? Okay. Atten. Just say the word. Do your thing. Damn thing's stuck. What do you mean the thing is stuck? Alright, uh, we'll just, we'll do this. Because we, uh, apparently have a useless hacker. Move it or I'm gonna, I'm gonna shank you. Credits. Okay, we're making money. You know, I wish money was this easy to make in real life. I hear you. Yes. Oh, you hit tab and you can cycle through characters. That's that's amazing. This is a band belonging to the Jedi Me, who was exiled from the Jedi Order following the Mandalorian Wars. Plus one constitution. Yeah, we're gonna wear that. Might be a troglodyte not to wear that. What does constitution do? Blaster pistol out. It's been a minute since we've been ambushed, so it's probably gonna happen again. Yep, yep. Okay, and four strain. And four strain again. And that did nothing, so we're just going to we're just gonna choke him. And oh, I can heal. That's a me melee shield here. Uh Okay. I might. I died. Okay. We might be screwed. Nope, we're fine. Say the word. We're okay, I think. We're okay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how I planned that. Yeah. Master strategist, I'm okay. Look how okay I am. Spam force heal. that and we're good corpse republic soldier 10 credits that fine okay move cameras get more wonky all right let's go through this door uh, i'm so discombobulated i don't know which way is which okay let's not go that way anymore just yet it's behind this door. As this is towards the uh, outer hull of the ship heading away from the facility, so this will probably be a dead end. Might be some goodies for us to have over here. This guy just had 50 bucks on him. Oh, okay, this was this was a mistake. Shock, just shock. Use Flurry! Use Flurry! Okay, yeah, I totally saved that. Yeah, that was all me. Gosh, you guys. Keep up. Alright, we can keep moving. Med Bay is right here on the right. We're gonna examine in this. I only knew it was the Med Bay because it's a big room. I remember this part of the game pretty okay. Insert data pad for me. Uh, administrator, blah, 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 blah. emergency override enacted. Dosage exceeds protocols. During your last med exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal person. And it rendered me unconscious. Okay, cool. Identify Colto tank. 
cool. Check. Gotta love these medical logs. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Spooky. Not even kidding, that's actually kind of creepy. Checking the survivor I like the horror vibe though. going on here. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Rage. Pure rage. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but... I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Yep. It was a Trojan horse. Attempt to get chemicals from the med dispenser. Chemicals dispensed, okay. From the main functions, uh, camera recordings. Okay, so this is what happened. Uh, this was the guy who we're talking about, the guy who's all ripped up and barely held together. That's Sith Lord. The one who came for the Jedi, being us. Woke up. Look at those early 2000s graphics. Oh, that was terrifying. Spooky. This game would be amazing with, like, a remaster. Here's to be active. Do you wish to heal yourself? Sure, why not? We'll, we'll just take a fucking hour to do this. Part of language. Thank you. Wow. Broken Colto tank. Colto shattered from the inside. Fragments littered the floor around it. Uh. Ash Medroid. Here. Oh, sweet. We got a temporary droid follower. It costs us some parts. Uh. Another Mandalorian melee shield. Republic's got a lot of Mandalorian melee shields on board. Why didn't they produce their own? No, I'll rant about the, the sequels one more time here, if you'll allow me. Uh, so in the sequels, uh, the First Order destroys like five Republic planets, crippling their capital or whatever. Hey, that's all well and good, but um, that's not the Republic. Look at the Republic in the Old Republic era. Republic in the Old Republic era. Look at the Old Republic and uh, how the game drops to like two frames per second. Okay, that was strange. Um, they had just gotten off the tail of two massive galactic spanning wars, and the game is still uh, potatoing out. It's alright. Oh, oh, yep. There we go. Fine. We're fine. I just want to shock him. I just want to shock him. Yeah, the Republic just got off the tail end of two major galactic wars. One against the Mandalorians, and another against a splinter faction of Jedi. That's insane. And yet, the Republic is still soldiering on. <laughs> they still are maintaining order best they can. They still have a fleet. They still have troops. They're maintaining order best they can, despite being stretched to the absolute limits. And then look at Ryan Johnson's movie. And J.J. Abrams' movies. Both are terrible directors, I feel. Or, Just say maybe not word. terrible directors, both terrible writers. But I feel like those things go hand in hand. Pure but, uh, anywho, uh, rambling aside. They have no eye, or I guess they have no sense Pure of Bazaar. world building. 
How the hell does the Republic just collapse after one super weapon fires? How does the First Order come back stronger after losing their super weapon? It's stupid. It makes no sense from a military standpoint. It makes no sense from a writing continuity standpoint. It's just dumb. And it's okay to have a dumb movie. I mean, look at everything Kevin Smith has made. It's all fucking stupid. But, uh... You know, when you're working with a franchise that has set expectations, you kind of need to adhere to those expectations. Right, head to the turbo lift. <sighs> I just... I didn't need a rant. I, I just really like these movies. I have a bad feeling about That's this. That's the second time at me, but you stop saying that. I can't help it, don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong, real quick. Well, then we'll just shoot you in the kneecap and keep moving. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me, when it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. You gain Atten's special ability of being an asshole. When he gets a bad feeling, it's remarkable that you save the game. This game will tell you to save every five minutes. But, uh, which way were we? Okay. Uh, came from that way. We're going this way. And we keep on going. Just keep swimming. Nope, we should be running. Stand here with our bikini. That's horrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The the cinematography here, the way they. Ugh. Ugh. I came to warn you, Jedi. Ugh. You know not what path you walk. Ugh. This battle is. She's got a legit vibro sword. Defenses. She said, "Fuck your vibro cutter." She's got a legit vibro sword. He cannot kill sword. what he cannot see. And power has blinded him long ago. Run. I shall be along shortly. <laughs> you got it, Grandma. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be on the ship anymore. I hear you. Open the, open the maintenance door. Okay. Uh, we'll go fuck ourselves. Next door, next, next door, next door! Atten! I hear you. Atten! Open the door! That thing's gonna kill the old lady, and then it's going to kill us! This is not the way we need to go, Atten. You asshole. Did, ah! I think it read it. I don't know what I picked up. Atten, open Just the footlocker. Make it, make it, make it, make it speedy. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Okay, we got actual vibro blades. Wonderful. Uh, open doors. Maintenance is open. Log out. Okay. Let's run. We've killed maybe a dozen of those Sith assassins. There's probably a dozen more. I don't know how the game's gonna spawn them in. Okay, it's locked. Atten. I hear you. You need to open the door. The door, Atten! Okay, good. We're okay. We are amazing right now. And I feel like we're gonna get ambushed. Come on, come on, come on. More stuff. Oh, did we get armor? I think we got armor. <sighs> Why do we need... <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do we need medium armor trained to wear light armor? Let's just uh, hustle the fuck up out of here. Uh, the good news is we're almost off this damn station. Technically, we are off the station right now, but uh, we gotta go back. Back into the station. Oh, sorry. This is one of the engines of the ship. We are at the back and bottom of the Harbinger. Let's go this way. Of 
course, we need to use the ion engine. Activate the maintenance hatch. Don't know why we had to use the thermal to do it. More immersive, I guess. Okay. Let's get back on the station, and we'll Tell probably. Me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. Did you have a better idea, asshole? All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. <laughs> Meanwhile, I sense you, my master, faint, weak. Sick Your burn. senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Ah. Uh, oh! Rhea just lost her hand, and I'm cutting my wrist, I guess. What's wrong? Are you all right? I'm not using these weapons Damn it, properly. Hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Uh, my hand felt like it was being dipped in molten carbonite. Kraya, I think she's wounded. Badly. I don't know. We need to keep moving. All right, then. If you're sure. Which way are we going? We're going this way. Back into Paragus. 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 That's Broly's dad from the Dragon Ball movie. Oh, God, it's T3. Let's go back and fight the evil Sith Lord. Let's see. Can we go back? Oh, we can't go back. We're not going to go back. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. Oh, God. Why is it still alive? Can you travel, T3? I, I don't care how it survived. I'm just upset that it did. Blame yourself. Uh, warm your systems. Let's go. There's no leave him here option. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Why? I don't care about this character. He's so ineffectual. There's, he, he's just a droid. I don't like T3. But, um... Yeah, I've gone on 43 minutes here. We've made it back into the Paragus facility. Let's see what's in this concealed stash really quick like. Oh hey, we got the conduit control for the hangar. Okay. Making progress. This container is deliberately tossed here. This circuit looks important. Well, with a name like that, it has to be important, so. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stop right here for now, and we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.